Hello, everyone. That's my extra part. I hope you like it. Wow, almost 200 subscribers. I thank everyone who follows me. Omegas speak here. And Alpha's here. The evening of the day Sakusa and Itsumo got back together. Sakusa and Itsumo went to Sakusa's home after training to talk about everything. Itsumo called Kida to let him know that he will be home later and that Shino can stay up longer. Until he comes home. They talked for a long time. They talked about how they were in the last four years, how they felt and how they had processed everything. Sakusa told about his parents and how he fell out with his father. How he was able to forgive his father over time. His father now accepts the fact that Sakusa likes male omegas even if he cannot understand it. Sakusa also told how his phobia got worse and that a year after the breakup he went into therapy after Komora could convince him to go. Atsumo was very shocked about it. He never thought that Sakusa would take their breakup so hard. Atsumo also felt very guilty. He never wanted to hurt Sakusa so badly. They also talked about how Itsumo took a long time to recover from the breakup and how Kida had helped him with it. He also told about how he had problems after the birth of Shino. Itsumo had complications during the birth. Itsumo received Shino five weeks early and he was in labor for four days. The doctors did not want to initiate the birth because Shino came too early. They wanted to postpone it as long as possible. Sakusa also learned that Itsuma fell ill two months ago because he had been away from his alpha for too long. And since then he has had to take medication every day to suppress the symptoms. Itsuma doesn't have to take them anymore since the day he saw Sakusa again. Itsuma also told about Shino what he loves and what he doesn't like and stories from Shino's childhood. After talking about everything, they decided to go home to Itsuma and tell Shino the truth that Sakusa is his father. Are you nervous Sakusa? Yes what if he hates me? You're his father he will love you? But he think Kida is his father. Yeah. But he asked me one day if Kida really is his father. So I think he has a feeling that Kida isn't his real father. And what about your brother? Osamu probably wants to kill me. He hates me for sure. He didn't like me back then. Yeah he hates you. Osamu won't harm you. He knows that I love you he will take his time to trust you but I know that he will. With the time he will trust you again? When he sees how happy I'm with you he will accept you. After some time he will learn to like you. What about Kida? Will he hate me? I steal his Omega. No he wouldn't hate you. It was his suggestion. He encouraged me to win you back. Kidden never loved me as much as you did. He only ever loved me as his best friend. You have no reason to be afraid. I will always be by your side, no matter who stands in our way. No matter what, I will always love you. I did it for the last six years and I will never stop loving you. Thank you my love. Sakusa kissed Itsuma's forehead. Itsuma blushed. He was so happy to have his alpha by his side again. I'm ready to go in. Good. They went inside. They took off their shoes and went into the living room. I'm home. Papa why are you coming home so late? I missed you Papa. I still had something important to do. I missed you too, my little angel. Shino ran to Itsuma and jumped into his arms. Itsuma and Shino cuddled and laughed together. Sakusa looked at the two of them and smiled. He would love to hug them both together. Since Sakusa is still a stranger, 
Tashino, he just stood by. After a few minutes Shino noticed that Sakusa was standing behind them. Shino jumped down and growled at Sakusa. Stay away from Papa. Shino stopped that. You shouldn't growl at anyone you don't know. That is not appropriate. But Papa? I saw how he kissed you. Shino will talk about it when everyone is down here. Can you go and call them? Yes, Papa. Shino was sulking before. Running off to call the others. A few minutes later all four came to the living room. What are you doing here? He glared at Sakusa. Stop that Osamu? You know why he's here. You should hear him out first. Thanks Rin. Tsu is this what I think it is? Yes Shin it is. Tsu? Shin? Sakusa was jealous about the fact that he called him by a nickname, while Itsumo mostly still called him by his last name and rarely called him Omi or Baby. It's just a nickname. You don't have to be jealous. Papa what is going on? Daddy? That little sentence hurt Sakusa. Shino looked back and forth between Kida, Atsuma, and Sakusa. Shino you remember when you asked if Shin is your real father? Yes you said that he is. I know but that was a lie. I tried to protect you. But if daddy isn't my father then who is it? He is. Your father? Atsuma pointed at Sakusa. Hey young man. You're my father? Yes I'm. Nice to meet you Shino. Shino walked over to Sakusa and kicked him. He hit Sakusa repeatedly. Then why wasn't you here? If you are my father why weren't you there? Why weren't you there for Papa? Didn't you want me? Shino stopped that. Apologize to Kiyomi it wasn't his fault. No he wasn't here. He wasn't there for you. For us. I've known for a long time that daddy's not my real father, but at least he was there. I know but that was my fault. He didn't know that you're his son. He thought you were Shin's son. Shino stopped beating Sakusa. He turned to Itsumo and looked at him questioningly. But why didn't you tell him? Shino dear you're too young to understand. It is now important that you get to know Sakusa. Don't worry I will stay part of your life. But you should give Sakusa a chance to be your father. He is a good person and he loves Tsu very much. Shino I'm sorry I wasn't there for you and your papa. I promise you I will never leave you both alone. Never again. I want to be your father but you can take as much time as you need before you see me as your father. I'm sorry too. Shino I know you had the right to know who your father is. I was afraid to tell you the truth because when you asked me if Shin was your father, I wasn't ready to see Kiyomi again. It's okay Papa you told me now. Shino understands a lot for his age. Shino knows that Itsumo was only trying to do what was best for him. He quickly understood that Sakusa loves him and his papa. Shino couldn't be angry with his papa either. He didn't quite understand why his papa couldn't just tell him who his real father was, but he knows he would understand it later. Shino hugged his papa and then went to Sakusa and stood in front of him. Dad? Yes Shino? Your name is Sakusa Kiyomi? Yes? So then my name is Shino Sakusa? Not yet? You're still Shino Mia. But if you like the name we could change it? Maybe later. Shino can you leave us? Alone for a moment? Oki okay, Uncle Mew. Shino run to his room. After Shino's door was closed Osamu pinned Sakusa to the wall. Osamu let him go? Baby let go of him? No, first of all he has to make some explanations. 
Atsumu tried to get his brother off Sakusa but failed. What do you want to know? I will answer all of your questions. Why did you broke up with Tsumu? My parents forced me. He wasn't the one who broke up. He just wanted a break. My father is homophobic and he threatened me if I didn't break up with it so he would send me to America and force me to marry a daughter from one of his friends. It doesn't matter who broke up. He wanted a break after he took advantage of you and marked you. Sakusa why didn't you told him the truth back then? I tried to protect it so, if I told him the truth he wouldn't let me break up. I was afraid that my father would harm him. Aren't your father still against it? No after it so and I broke up I stopped talking to my parents and after three months my father gave in and told me I should win it so back. Atsumu now had tears in his eyes. But why didn't you? At or practice match I tried but then I saw Atsu's bite mark and learned that Atsu was pregnant. I thought that Kido was his alpha so I thought it was better when I let Atsu be happy with his alpha. Osamu let go of Sakusa and sat on the couch, Suna sat next to him. Atsumu went to Sakusa and hugged him. Sakusa gently stroked Atsuma's head and kissed his forehead. We both jumped to conclusions back then. We were young and we both made mistakes. Osamu it was not only Kiyomi's fault, I am also to blame. I shouldn't have given up so easily back then. I should have fought for Atsuma and Atsuma shouldn't have lied, but that was all in the past. I would prefer to look after the future and my family now. Sakusa is right. We should all forget and forgive what was four years ago. The most important thing is that you are together again. We are all a family now. Yeah you're right. Sakusa embraced. Atsumo and wiped his tears. I love you Omi. I love you too Itsu. I missed that nickname. I will accept you Sakusa but if you hurt my brother again I won't hesitate to finish you off. Thank you Samu. Thank you Osamu. I will never hurt Itsu again. Good or you would regret it. Come down boys he doesn't hurt Sumu again. He loves him too much for that. One year later. Sakusa spent a lot of time with his new family. Osamu learned to trust Sakusa with the time and the two became friends. It didn't take Shino long to come to terms with the new situation. He was quick to accept Sakusa as his father. Dad? Yeah you know? Will they hate me? No darling? I'm sure they will love you. You are the sweetest boy in the whole world. They will love you you know you are. Their grandson? They always wanted one. Yeah. Sakusa knelt and hugged his boy. When he got up again, Atsuma whispered in his ear. Will they hate me? Sakusa giggled slightly. You and Shino are the same? Don't laugh. I'm serious. I caused you great pain. Will they hate me because of that? No Atsu they won't hate you. They will love you and Shino. They stood in front of the house of Mr. Sakusa and Mrs. Sakusa. Sakusa wanted to get used to the role of a father first before introducing his small family to his parents. His parents only know that he wants to introduce them to someone he loves. He couldn't tell them everything over the phone, so he only told them the bare essentials that he would like to introduce them to his soul mate. You ready to go in? No. No, I'm afraid. You don't need to. Be afraid Shino, they will love you. Let's go inside. Shino nodded and clung to his parents. When Sakusa rang the bell, he stood in front of Atsuma and Shino. Atsuma held Shino close in front of him. 
Shino held on to Sakusa's jacket with one hand and with the other he held on to Itsuma's hands that were over his chest. Hey mom, dad. Hey Kiyomi. Hello my son. Is he who stands behind you the one you want to introduce us to? Yes mom. Sakusa took a step to the side. Shino clung to Sakusa's leg. Hello miss. Sakusa and Mr. Sakusa. My name is Itsuma Mia. And this is my son Shino Mia. Kiyomi are you kidding me? Shino was scared. He clung to his parents and began to cry. Sakusa took his son and his Omega in his arms to calm them down. Come down honey. You are not only bringing a man here but also an Omega with a child? Don't you dare father. Before you say anything else, listen to us first. If you can't accept us, I have no problem choosing them both over you. Do you remember when I had a boyfriend in high school? Yes the one who broke your heart? Because he chose another alpha, right? Yeah. I will tell you everything but can we come in first? Of course come in. Mrs. Sakusa smiled at Shino and Itsumu. When they sat down in the living room, Shino climbed into Mrs. Sakusa's lap. Shino sensed that this woman is not a threat. He trusted her. Itsumu smiled. After explaining, So Shino is our grandson? Yes. You never chose another alpha? You just had no other choice? Yes, the only one I ever loved was Omi and I still love him and always will. It broke my heart when we broke up. And this was all one big misunderstanding? Yes mom, we were both young and made wrong conclusions. What about the other Alpha? He is still my best friend. He's done a lot for us and Shino is very attached to him. After Omi and I got back together, he took the opportunity and won his soulmate for himself. Aren't you jealous about their friendship? No? Why should I be? You're not afraid he could. Cheat? I would never. Omi is my whole life. I would never risk losing him again. Kida and I were never really together. We never had romantic feelings for each other. We were always just best friends. At the beginning I had some problems that they are so close friends but I realized that they never had romantic feelings for each other and that Kido was just trying to protect Itsu and Shino. I am very grateful that Kida is in our life. I'm glad that Kiyomi can finally smile again. Thank you Itsumo for giving him his smile again. And I apologize for causing you such problems. I would also like to apologize to both of you. I shouldn't have tried to change you Kiyomi. I'm sorry for the two of you causing such problems. Especially to you Itsumo I would like to apologize. It is my fault that. You had to raise a child for four years without your alpha. Thank you mom and dad for apologizing and accepting that my Omega is a man. But you heard Itsuma more than me so it is up to him whether we forgive you. We will forgive you. You can also be part of our life but if I think you harm Shino we will remove you from our life. My son is my first priority and I will do everything I can to keep him safe. We understand that. We will support you in everything where you need help. Can I talk to you two alone? Baby, could you go play outside with Shino? Oki call me if you need me. Sakusa kissed Itsuma's forehead and picked up Shino. When going out, Sakusa looked over his shoulder again to see if Itsuma was okay. Itsuma looked serious, he wore a fake smile. Sakusa knew that it had to be serious. But he wanted to give him the opportunity to talk to Sakusa's parents. Even he was worried. 
What is it, Itsumu? I would like to inform you that I would like to propose to Kiyomi. I would also like to ask you for permission. I know that you two mean a lot to Kiyomi and I know that he has not yet proposed to me because of you. He fears that you might turn away if we got married. I know Kiyomi loves me and Shino but he loves you too and he doesn't want to lose you. Well you know I'm not a proponent of same-sex marriage. But I almost lost Kiyomi once because I tried to influence who he loves. So I stand behind you and as I know my wife, she also stands behind you. I would like to help you with the wedding preparations. I thank both of you. It means a lot to me that you support us, I also know that it means a lot to Kiyomi. He was very worried about losing you. I am glad that I and Kiyomi can finally be together without any worries. Are we going outside to Kiyomi and Shino? Shino would definitely like to play with his grandparents. I would also like to play with the little boy and get to know him. They went into the garden together. Sakusa and Shino chased each other. Around. Atsuma smiled. He loved to see his two loved ones like that. Omi can you come here for a moment? Sakusa ran to them. He kissed Atsuma and took him in his embrace. Shino laughed and came to them too. He stretched out his arms to show Atsuma that he also wanted to be taken into his arm. Atsuma leaned forward and lifted his son into his arms. Sakusa hugged the two of them. Omi, I have something important to say to you. Atsuma kissed Sakusa and then he put his son down and pushed Sakusa away from him. What is it? Atsumu took a small box out of his jacket. It's about that? He held the box out to him. Where did you find it? I was looking for it everywhere. I found it in your gym bag three months ago. But when you still didn't propose to me after such a long time, I thought to myself that I would take your ring and propose to you. At that moment Itsumo knelt down and opened the box. Sakusa Kiyomi you are the love of my life. In the four years when you weren't by my side I wasn't complete. I've always missed something and since you're by my side again, I feel complete again. You and Shino have been everything I need in my life. I want you by my side for the rest of my life. And I want our second child to have his father with him from the start. So do you want to marry me within the next eight months? Sakusa's parents widened their eyes. They immediately understood what Atsumo was saying. However, Sakusa who was a bit overwhelmed by the whole situation and is still processing all the information, answered. Of course I want to marry you, but then realized what Itsuma was. Saying, wait what did you say? Sakusa began to smile. Baby are you pregnant? Will I be a father again? Yes, Omi, you're going to be a father again. And this time you won't miss a thing. Sakusa's parents congratulate them both. The five celebrated together before they went home. They got married after five months. They celebrated big. The whole MSBY Black Jackals team came. Their old friends. From high school, of course their families, Kida and Aaron couldn't be missing either. After another three months they get a cute little girl named Eline Sakusa. The end? That was the end of my extra part. I hope you enjoyed my story. I'm sorry this part has become a bit long. Leave me a like. I apologize for the grammatical errors. I write my stories in German and then translate them with Google. Translator Disclaimer the characters and pictures do not belong to me, only the story belongs to me. 
Everything else belongs to the rightful owners. Write me a comment how you liked the story. Don't forget to follow. If someone wants a video, please let me know it. I will try to write your ideas 